Hi again scrapbookers, uh, welcome to this video. This one is about layer styles. Layer styles are quite neat because what they do is they make the image jump off the uh, background in a whole bunch of different ways. You've got all kinds of neat stuff you can do here and you'll really like this. So that all happens here in the effects menu right there. Okay, and you've got all these things here. Bevels, complex, drop shadows, image effects, inner glows, all kinds of stuff. What we want to do to start off with, at least what I want to do to start off with, is a drop shadow. And they really, uh, they look great. They make the image stand out. That's about all you need to do. If, you know, you can just do that. So what we've got, we've got a whole bunch of them here. If you hover over them, it'll tell you what it is. This is a fill outline. Um, this one is a hard edge. And this one is something else. There. It's called high. This is low. Neon noisy outline and soft edge. So I'm going to apply this one, but you have to make sure you're on the layer you want to be. So this is the, if I turn this one off, that's where I want it to be. I want to be on the Tabitha layer. Okay, so I'm going to choose this one. I can double click on it, or I can just single click and hit the apply button. We'll do that. Isn't that neat? You see that little bit of drop shadow around here? Now, we can do further things with this and that's cool. You got to have one effect on your image before you can do other stuff. So we're going to go up here to layer, layer style, style settings and these are the style settings and you can see it's drop shadow right here. There's a preview on the image. I can turn it off and I can turn it on and you can change the light direction. It's, I think it's defaults to 120 then we can change it to wherever it goes. See now it's above the image. We'll just go back around there to 120 or someplace right in there. Okay, so now what can you do with this? You can change the size. Drag that up. See how it got bigger? You can change the distance. Now you've almost got rid of the thing. Put it back down again. Put this back down again. And you can change the opacity. You can make it very dark or you can make it so you can hardly see it. Now I think I'll just I think we'll leave it there. The other thing you can do in here, see this? This is your color picker. So you click on this and lo and behold this good old screen jumps up. And when you've got this screen up anywhere, anywhere in Photoshop Elements, if you take your cursor off of the screen into the background you get the eyedropper tool and you can see we've got a black this is the black that we've got right now if I move it over the if I put it in this pink part of Tabitha's ear now there's where the color is selected and if I click OK now the drop shadow is going to be that light pink which is really you know not very good but you know this is more for learning than anything else so I'm going to put it back to black okay so now we've changed some of the drop shadow and you can see how that's jumping off the screen. Another thing you can do is you can drop this one down, glow. You can have an inner glow or an outer glow. Well we already got an outer shadow so let's do an inner glow just for the heck of it. See it put a little inner glow on there and we can make it bigger. We can change the color. So maybe we'll take this dark blue up here. You can see it's added the dark blue in there. Well that's a little bit excessive. Maybe this kind of little funny gray color there. And that is someplace on here. I don't know where it is. I can't see the circle. Ah, doesn't matter. Okay, so we've got a drop shadow. We've got an inner glow. What else can we do in here? This is really a useful thing, but you've got to have at least one layer style set before you can use this. Now, you can bevel. Hit the bevel, and it does something right in there. It does a bevel on the, on the edge of the image. Move it up. Now we've got a bevel. A bevel. And then we can do a stroke. See, now it outlines it in red. Don't want red. Now, let's take tab of this little bit of pink nose. No, it's too close to red. We don't want that. Let's take white. Okay. Okay. 
So we've added a whole bunch of different layer styles. See, that's up here in the layer menu. Layer style, style settings. So once you've got that, it's really neat. You can do so much to make the image jump off. So that's how you do it with one of your drag and drop images because you're working right on the same layer that the image is on. Now we're going to work on the other one. Remember this, this is the clipping mask and it's a bit different because the image is here as you, re if you recall. If I click here, the image is all back in here and if you start applying effects to that you're not going to see them. So really what you have to do is apply the image or the layer effects to the shape layer. So we've got this funny little funky uh, outline there. So let's go back here, shape, let's add a drop shadow. Let's do noisy. There we go, we got a noisy one. Once again we can go up here, layer style, style settings, and we can make it go out a bit farther if we want. We can make it darker. See now how that jumps off the page now? It looks like it really is standing up. We have 3D. Amazing, right? And if we want, we can go into the glows. Um, I don't know what we do with a glow in here. Um, maybe we'll take one of the colors from here. My jacket here. Whoops, let's go. Whoops, i got to choose enter, don't I? Okay, let's take it off the jacket. The dark part, dark blue. You can see it's just kind of come around there and done it. Looks kind of weird, but you know. This is for educational purposes only. See, I'm showing you the how. You're going to do the great work and the uh, the what. Uh, let's have an outer glow just, just for the heck of it. You can see it added something in there. Uh, let's make it pure white. Get up there. Well, yeah, I guess it's kind of pure white. And the outer glow, we can make it bigger. There we go. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're getting all kinds of strange things going on here. But it does make the image pop off the screen. So there you go. That's how you do layer styles. And layer styles are really quite unique. You can do anything with them. And once you've got that first one done, then you go up here. If you have nothing done, um, if we revert this file, where's the revert menu? Someplace strange in elements. Okay, there now we, revert, we are reverted. And I was going to show you something, but I can't remember what. Oh, yeah. If I wanted to do it on this layer now, the shape layer, I go up to layer, layer style. I can't do anything because there are no layer styles uh, applied to it. You have to have at least one. So if I do this one, there we go. Now we can do the layer style. Okay. So that's how you do it. So get in there, put some images on there, do some layer styles because it really is neat and you'll really love the effects. So thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your interest. Come and visit my site. Uh, you can see this image or this tutorial in written form. And I got lots of other things too, like there's a lot of Photoshop elements tutorials on image editing. And that's really important too because you don't want a crummy image with beautiful uh, decorations all around it, do you? Okay, so take care, have fun with your uh, scrapbook pages, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye now.